Okay, this is a video explaining tail-to-head graphical vector addition and subtraction. Basically, this is just another method for combining multiple vectors into one vector. So, in this case, say we had two different vectors. Normally, if we wanted to combine them, we would have to split each into horizontal and vertical components combine the two components and then turn that into one vector. But with this method, you don't there's no need to split them up. With this method, you can redraw the vectors, except you draw the first vector just like you would normally, but when you do the second vector, you put it onto the head of the first vector. So you connect the head to the tail. That way, if you make a line from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second, you get one full vector, of the, but both of them combined. And then you can use that angle to do whatever the problem requires. So now in this case, let's say that we have three vectors all pointing in different directions. Now when you transfer all the vectors, you still put each new vector, you connect its tail to the head of the last vector. So now, just like before, you connect the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector. And remember that when you do this, it doesn't matter which order you put the vectors in. See, now I'm doing it in a different order, but I'm still going to end up with the same final combined vector. Now, you can also use this method for when a person or some kind of vehicle is traveling in different directions. So, let's say a person is walking and they go three units to the north and then five units to the east and two units to the south. So on your graph, you would draw vectors going three units to the north, five units to the east, and two units to the south. And just like before, you would start the next vector at the end of the first vector. So I started the first vector going five units east at the tail of the north vector, and it's the same thing with the south. Now when you connect the tail of the first vector to the head of the last vector, you get the displacement. And just like before, it doesn't matter which order you draw the vectors in. See, this time I'm going to go south first, then east, then north, and I'll still end up with the same displacement. So now we have three more vectors all going in different directions. And when you put them on the graph, you want to make sure you always go from tail to head, putting the tail of each new vector on the head of the last one. And then no matter which, way, no matter which order you draw the vectors in, you always end up with the same combined vector and angle at the end. So we finished adding vectors, so now we're going to subtract them. So let's say we have two different vectors going in different directions again. We'll call one vector A and the other B. So let's say we wanted to subtract B from A. Now because the B vector is now negative, it's not going to be going in the same direction when we combine it. It's going to go in the opposite direction. So now, that is the new direction that the negative B vector is. So now, when we redraw the vectors to combine them, they're still going to be going tail to head, but B will be going in the opposite direction. So now, when you combine the two vectors, vector A and vector negative B, you'll get the subtracted vector. So now let's say we have three vectors 
a, b, and c, and we're going to do a minus b plus c. Now, because b is negative, b is going to be going in the opposite direction, but it will still have the same magnitude. So now, just like before, we're going to combine all three vectors, and we're going to use the a vector, the negative b vector, and the c vector, and combine them from tail to head. So now when we draw a vector from the tail of the a vector to the head of the c vector, we'll get the one combined vector. And that is all you need to know about adding and subtracting vectors.